Welcome friends to my review of the 4000 watt Roarbat pure sine wave inverter. So what we're going to do in this video, see the actual unit set up in my home and then also see the unboxing of it. So you could get the full experience without necessarily buying it. However, it's also linked down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you nothing, but it gives a little bit of kickback in case you do buy it. I do appreciate it. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the unit. Here's the description. It's $329. I believe it's an incredibly good deal because I've looked at quite a lot of units. And I think this uh, uh, thing's feature set is actually pretty awesome. So let's start with... The, the actual unit. Uh, I have it set up over here. And uh, what a, first thing that I love about it is that it has that screen. It gives you the output wattage and how much you're using. It has really nice heavy duty strong terminals. And of course, just like always, I set up Anderson connectors on this. The reason why I did this is that in case I want to connect other things to my battery, these are 300 amp cables, I could actually use this to plug in other 12 volt devices into it. This unit, it works incredibly well. And one of the features that I love about it is that it has an on and off switch. Like see this one, boom, and it's off. Now let's turn it back on and it also could be turned on and off via this switch over here on the side which i love so right now i have it connected to my uh gaming pc which has a passive cooler without a fan and an 800 watt power supply and the battery bank that is connected to is this one over here there is two one two two kilowatt battery like one point 150 amp hour batteries and that's a i believe a 3.8 kilowatt i don't know was that 300 amp hours and the cable the way that i have it cabled is i have it connected via this heavy duty anderson 300 i believe 300 350 amp um power cable it's not just directly connected to the battery. Uh, this is a hodgepodge. Uh, this uses a 70 amp Victron controller to charge these batteries. And I'm not using solar, I'm actually using uh, power blocks, uh, 240 watt uh, Dell bricks. However, this is the unit we're focusing on. The Roarbat Pure Sine Wave Inverter. The reasons why I love it is that each one of these plugs, I believe, can deliver up to two kilowatts of power each. It has this extension uh, cord that is actually pretty long. Uh, maybe you could actually even use a telephone wire to extend it. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm using the original wire. So you could probably even stretch it out like 50, 100 feet, or at least probably 20 feet away. So you could always turn the inverter on and off. What another feature that I love about it is that it has probably like a nine or 10 or maybe as low as a six watt overhead. I've seen inverters, even the Victron, the big ones, the big like, uh, I've seen the big ones, that are, the ones that are two, three, four thousand watts that use probably 15, 20 or 30 or 40 watts an hour. Why is this significant? Because the inverter on those units probably drains the battery so much quicker. I love the idea of the unit being able to draw things down much easier. What's also nice about it, I read in the instruction manual that you don't need to put a fuse between the battery, between the battery and the unit. It actually has fuses on the inside and they give you some replacement 40 amp fuses. I guess you would have to open that up. So it's already designed uh, not to over amp your system. So you don't need like those crazy $80, 300 amp uh, like fuses that some people use. And um, yeah, I've been using this for months. I've had a unit that I cooked uh, rotisserie chicken on, uh, 2000 watt straight power through. I never put it through the test to the 4000 watts. You probably don't need me to put it on video 
well but while it's sitting here by itself like not using much power it usually doesn't turn on the fan uh during summertime it would turn on the fan that's when i would hear it the most now that it cooled down a little bit uh, i never really hear the fan i love the screen i love being able to see uh all the power wattage that is being used and being output with it so it could do a spike of up to 8,000 watts in 4,000 watts continuous. It has also, what I like about it, it has already four plugs you could use. So you could plug directly in and you could also has uh, terminals where you could wire it, hardwire it into like your cabin or into your uh, RV or something like that. You could uh, hardwire things and even get more amps out of that. And each one of those plugs can handle, I think up to 2,000 watts. So nice high quality plugs, easy to reset. It has the screen and the low overhead. That's what's really awesome. So now in the next part, we're just gonna, I bought another one of these units just to have an extra one on hand because uh, the reason why I set it up like this is that eventually uh, I may want to get an off-grid property and I'll just take this unit, unplug the Anderson connected, the big blue connector over here and I could bring bring the battery and all that reconnected and have power anywhere I want. And that's why I want maybe not disconnect this one and have an extra unit on hand. I mean, they're printing, they printed up already 36 trillion, 35 trillion, hundreds of trillions and uh, actual real technology and real quality things like this are always gonna be valued in uh, the great reset economy that we're living through. So let me quickly open, do an unboxing for you guys, and I hope you're enjoying the video. So if you haven't thumbed up yet and subscribed, you should do that right now before the next part of the video. All right, friends, let's unbox this bad boy. So it comes in this big, beautiful, heavy-duty box. Oh, by the way, I bought this with my own money, and I believe that's what like the best reviewers should be. It's actually people putting up their own money to buy their own units because they don't have any bias to the company. They don't owe any allegiance. And I liked the first few units that I bought. Actually, this is the third unit, third of these units that I'm buying uh, that, you know, I picked up this third one to have one in reserve. So here's the unit. Not to knock any of those other guys. Those other guys, I'm happy that they're there. Um... So you get a big cable, it's like a doubled up cable for your cable that goes on the floor for now. Um, this is the connected box. See it uses kind of like a phone style cable jack on the end. And I like that it has an on and off switch. Green is that it's on and red would be like that there was like a power fault. I don't know, maybe a power surge. I've never uh, over amped it. So I don't know if uh, the status, if you could just reset it, if it already, there is a surge protector inside, how that works. So the red status could be cleared just by turning it on and off. Okay, so that's, that's in the box. And the actual unit. Um, the actual unit is actually quite beautiful. Nice and heavy duty. Oh, before that, oh, this is the amount of cable that you get. Nice long cable. It looks like a standard telephone cable. So you probably maybe could get 100 or 200 feet of cable. Um, let's read over quickly over this manual. Uh, last time I think it had a longer manual. Um, long story short, uh, in the other manual that I had of this, Roarbat technical output voltage, uh, pure sine wave, no load current. You see it says 0 0.6 plus or minus 0 0.1. So let's say 0 0.7 amps. That's uh, so if the battery is like, let's say 12 volts, 0 0.7. So that's like seven, eight or nine watts. That's, that's the beautiful thing about it. Um, that's the manual. So that's the no load, no, no load current is described here. Uh, what is the general information? In the other manual that I had previously, it, it said not to, uh, 
not to connect a fuse before this inverter because it, it could draw up to what 350 amps technically for 4000 watts so probably a fuse would get burned out if you connected it plus there's also fuses inside this unit so oh it's nice and heavy so you probably need the room for this bad boy and um nice big fans nice heavy duty uh, uh power blocks over here and power block covers uh pretty decent terminals over here it looks like it's copper and nice and usable let's see that's the front with the screen what's in the back nice aluminum probably chassis and here's the beautiful part that outputs the power so we have the remote control uh function here to connect the, this wire to stretch out to be able to turn it on and off that's the beautiful thing with the inverter being able to turn it on and off let's say you're in the kitchen uh, and you want to turn it on to power all your devices you have a place from far away that you could turn it on or let's say this is in a power cabin that you have far away from you you could still turn it on and off or turn it on and off here that's the difference that I saw. I have in another inverter, a 3000 watt inverter, uh, also 12 volts, um, that has a toggle switch, on and off switch. When you have a toggle switch, technically you would have to actually toggle it on and off, even though it did have a remote control. Um, with a toggle switch, it's either on or off. But with like a kind of like a power button like this, um, it could be reset remotely with the this power connector so i like that uh it has a little grounding rod here and each one of these uh power outlets is rated for like 1800 or 2000 watts you could hardwire your um physical connections to over here so what i like is that you don't need to necessarily hardwire your stuff but you could so you're not limited with the other power inverter that i had the 3000 watts i think it had only two power plugs but here you have four power plugs that could deliver up to 4,000 watts. So you could do like 1,501 and another like 1,500 across all three. You can't do more than 4,000 because it's probably going to turn off and have a little red fault light that would be over on an overload. So you just turn off devices and you could press a reset here or you could press a, press a reset through the long extended remote control. I love the idea of this remote control. Green is good. Red, red, you could need to reset, you could just press the button and reset it. Um, it mounts to the wall easily. And when you have like this much power, when you have 4,000 watts, it's obviously gonna be big and heavy, but like we're talking about powering an entire kitchen. So my rotisserie chicken that I cooked with this, I have a rotisserie, a new wave, a rotisserie chicken cooking thing. Uh, it was taking like 1,800, 2,000 watts. This handled like a champ. He has the fans turned on. And also, not right away. They, they, it took a little while for it to heat up on the inside before it uh, turned on the fans to, to power it. So, it powered through like a champ. So, that's what I like the idea about the use of it. A, use, a good use case would be in the kitchen. Uh, because you want to use more than one device in, in, a, in a day. So, you could turn on your rotisserie. And then you could also turn on, let's say, a microwave which is probably another thousand watts. So 2,000, 3,000, and you have another like thousand left over for other things. For let's say a gaming computer setup, you're probably not gonna use more than a thousand watts. But I just thought that this device was just so efficient and I might as well have a powerful enough unit that I could just do it all with. That even though, okay, fine, a 2,000 watt unit might be three quarters of this size or half the size of this, However, it's still taking up space physically, and I'd rather have the biggest unit I could buy at this point in time. And then connected, boom, I have already the Anderson connectors. I have a whole Anderson connection video, and I have a lot of other review videos. So thumb up, subscribe. Uh, I highly recommend it. I mean, I'm using it in my own home. I'm using it on my PC. It works fantastic. I love all the features that you just might not see on other inverters out there which have 
higher draw loads. Like I've seen 30, 40 uh, watt draw loads. Um, for example, I have an Aokitel P2000, well, uh, 2001 solar generator. So like a 2000 watt. And with the inverter turned on, I think the overhead, I can't measure the exact wattage the overhead is, but it could be a 20, 30 overhead wattage because uh, powering it, like uh, doing it a load, let's say a 100 watt load. I had a 100 watt load, let's say I was running overnight. It was only showing me like 12 hours to power it at that. And it's a 2000 watt solar generator bank. So the only reason why that would be would be the inefficiency of the inverter uh, being taking up so much power. So I like the idea of the efficiency of the inverter because if you have an inverter that's taking, let's say, 10 watts, you know, this is probably taking eight or nine, fine. Uh, let's say it's taking 10 watts over a whole entire day, that's only 240 watts. So it's not draining your battery like crazy. If you had um, 30 watt overhead, you would have 600 watts. How many, is it, like if you're running only of solar panels, how much extra powers, how many just extra solar panels you would need to make up that 400 watt difference? Well, I would say probably at least another 200 watts in solar panels just to run an inverter. And then I try to also power most of my devices off 12 volts, but you know, certain things like cooking, uh, you just can't do off that. And you know, a desktop PC, like a TV, that uses AC electricity. So I'm happy that I have these high powered plugs. I'm happy that I have a screen that I could watch my wattage use. I'm happy that I could turn off the power. So let's say it's a high watt device. Like right now, like the this thing, my PC is kind of sleeping and it's still taking 30 watts. Like when I'm sleeping at night, I just turn off the inverter uh, on the switch on the bottom and it's so easy. And I'm saving those 30 watts because I don't need to have my speaker turned on. I don't need to have like the PC and the USB ports, whatever those units are using. I could quickly turn them off and it's nice. And I'm feeling good. I'm ready for the power outage. I'm ready for the great reset. And I hope you are too. Uh, shop around. This is the reason why I'm making this video is that people like yourself want to get the best deal. And uh, like, this is what I found looking at so many, so many choices. I mean, the whole market is filled up with so many different units. I mean, so that's what I like. Hey, I'm just coming to you with stuff that I bought. You know, I'm not trying to show off. I'm here to share. So thumb up, subscribe, uh, click the links below. Some of them are aff Amazon affiliate links. That's fantastic. Also other videos, you might learn a lot and I hope I can share more with you. And if you have questions, I mean, just post them down below and let's have a discussion. Did you find a better inverter? I mean, show me what's better. I'm happy to see. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.